So the tourniquet. Take this tab, this gray tab, that says time. This is what you're going to use to lock up the windlass after we're done. But we, this is not a ready state. Take this off and off, to, like over to the side, just like that. Okay? Now, I've got a Velcro side and a nylon side. Velcro side faced away, and I'm looking at the nylon side. Take my red tab, put it through the buckle, take six to eight inches, marry it up. Not off to the side, but like try to marry it up as best you can. Because a lot of tourniquet holsters, it wants to be perfect going in. Now this buckle right here. I don't want it down like this, I want it up. Alright, so again, not down, but up. Alright, now, again, we talked about the reinforced piece of plastic in the red tab. Find that and bend it back on itself. That way, you have a readily identifiable tab once you deploy this thing, that you're gonna grab and pull it in. Now, marry up the Velcro against the nylon. Not like this, where it's Velcro on Velcro, because now when I deploy it, I've gotta to fight to get that out. No good. I wanna go Velcro on the nylon, this way, when I deploy it, it comes right out. Once I identify that pull tab, I always want that facing the inside of my body. I don't want to pull, if this in, extremity is injured right here, I don't want to pull across. I'm not going to be able to reach. If this is the injured extremity, as soon as this comes out, I want to find that tab, face it to my inside, up and over and check this out. All I have to do, I already found it. Snap. Make this as tight as you can before you ever touch this windlass, which is the bar, right? And now, it's generally gonna take two and a half to three and a half turns in real life, okay? For training, one to one and a half, Whatever you can tolerate, I'm good with. But we're going to crank. Then we're going to lock it in once we're satisfied. Okay, now, what we want to do before we touch this time tab, this gray tab, we want to route the strap through the buckle, around the windlass, and back through that buckle and then pull our locking mechanism over, or the time tab over. Let me show you the caveat. If you don't, here's the risk that you run. If we don't take that added measure, and I leave this dangling, and I lock it, am I good? Yeah, I'm good. Until I brush up with somebody with Velcro, or this catches, and then what happens? I, I just lost my tourniquet. So, Back it up, tight, crank in the windlass bar, put a turn in, boom, before I go here, route this thing up and around the windlass and back through, and then come across. Now, can it happen with enough force? Yes. Does it happen as easily as it, as it did before? No.